on a serious note, there's like a lot of like death going on out there. Like, how how do you view and is there like a no a, such thing a, as death? Well, I mean, you, it's you just changing a form. But but the violence. Maybe I said the wrong word with the hip hop shit. Like guns we, don't kill people. People kill people. All right, mm, so I gotta yes. look at it like that. Then. Yeah, people kill people. So the like. You know, and then I think, uh, then to be honest with you, I don't see where it's different than how it used to be. Violence been going on my whole life. Mm. I think it's more publicized now. Totally. It's more uh, like media where you can see it like, Covered. like yeah. that. Is, is there a universal, like, like uh, from revenge, how, what's the uni- universal solution to that? Like, the if you're from the streets, law, it goes does it have to be events. revenge? Like, this person that's died, not, that person that's died? Not, that's, not the, that's not the code of the streets. The code of the streets ain't kill or be killed. That's bullshit. That's TV. The code of the streets oh, wow. is really live and let live. I really don't want it to be no problem. I don't. Like, like I had to take my glass off to say this. You know why you never hear me make songs? I say it in a song. I say I don't smoke op packs or make fun of dis- dis- uh, disrespect the dead. Mm. I try to kill myself before bullets still lodge inside my head. Like, I don't do that. I don't disrespect the dead. That's disrespectful. Like, because these spirits, uh, they change form. I don't do those type of things. I don't smoke op packs and all that. You know, people that do, that's your thing. But I don't disrespect yeah. the dead. That's like even, that's people that, that's people that never watched a soul leave a body. See, it's fun when you're rapping about it. I get you smashed. I put it on your ass, bust your brains. But when you stand over something and watch something leave this bitch, you know that you have taken something that you do not have the power to give back. Mm. I hate that it had to go like this, but this just how it had to go. These are the rules of the jungle. But we don't disrespect the dead and all of that silly shit. You know, that's 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 music. That's 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 not real. That's fictitious. Like when you hear a mother, it's, it's two times when you hear a hideous scream. When you see a mother watch her son get sentenced and you see a mother bury her son, her child. I ain't gonna just say uh, I ain't gonna say her son. I say her her children. Mm-hmm. When she watch one of her children get buried. Or uh, when you sit here, mother, watch one of her children get sentenced in court. It's a hideous scream. I encourage anybody to go to court and watch somebody get life. A nigga. Go watch a nigga get life. I'm mm. talking about. I'm talking about how players say. Let, let young nigga don't even know what all this time mean. <laughs> he don't know what all the time mean. I'm talking about. Hey, how my grandfather say? Hey, hey, you fight good. Hey, when you get down there, them dick suckers fight with that ink pen. And coffee and donuts with their legs crossed. Yeah, right. what you gonna do when they slinging that ink pen at your motherfucking ass? A nigga fighting a nigga, that ain't fighting. Hmm. Hey, when you go down there, you know what they gonna tell you? Oh, it's, well, your honor, your judge, I didn't know. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. <laughs> so that's why I'm, that's why I'm, I, I raised my son, like, and, and I'm so strict, not strict, but I enforce that code of conduct. Like, right now, we doing accountability. I call it taking your lick. Like, I say, you know that, you know, if you don't make your bed, keep up with your hygiene, take the trash out, you're not going to be able to play the game. You know, this is a result of you not doing what you're supposed to do. You have to take your lick. I'm teaching him self-accountability. You got to take your lick. You got to take your lick. You can't push it on nobody else because, you know, we can't. You, I ain't going to be at a rat. You know what I'm saying? Because we do not, we do not, um, we do not, um, we do not jeopardize the lives of others for our own self-preservation. Powerful man. We do not sacrifice the lives of others for our own self preservation. And I instill this you have to take your lick. And I'm instilling accountability into him. He ain't number nine years old, but he's doing a damn good job right now. That bed be made. You won't play that game, that bed gotta be made. (laughs) Wow. You gotta do your schoolwork, all that, you know, and then you can play the game. Mm. Now, if you don't do these things, then you have to take your lick, homie. You got to take your lick. <laughs> Man, daddy, but ain't no but ain't no but nothing. You got to take your lick. You know Gates. you ain't do what you're supposed to do. Kevin Gates is Haitian now, man. <laughs> nah, I ain't. I ain't My I Haitian ain't, parents are not playing I ain't Haitian, then. but I know a lot of Haitians. Yeah, they yeah. love me to do. So you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. You got to take your lick. And yeah. like I say, you know, we try to attribute the violence to the hip-hop. The violence ain't got nothing to do with the hip-hop. That's been going on. So the media is, with the Biggie, Tupac, death stuff, and they always compare, like, hip-hop is the reason. So that's... Man, that's one of the most profitable genres of music on earth. And then you got to think, when people talk about what's going on, they're talking about what's going on in the inner cities and the impoverished environments. Mm. This is what we go through every day. Now, people have commercialized our struggle, you know what I'm saying? But this is what we go through every day. 
killing and all that. But like I say, I, I encourage you, go watch a mother bury her child or go watch a mother watch her child get life. And it'll break your heart. Wow. Not with night. I could I could take my lick, whatever I did, you know, I'm a hey, I'm a man. I'm a, whatever whatever I, whatever I did, I can set the consequences behind it. But when you watch that lady, when you hear that, when you see how what you do affects others, because when you suffer, the people you love, they suffer also. When you see this is what made me start correcting my actions. When you watch how your actions affect others. Like when I was at the when I was at the um listening party, I was surrounded by love. If I was to do something like fucked up, it hurt all of them people in there. Mm. I'd be letting a lot of people down. So it gave me an even greater responsibility. Um, with all due disrespect to people that may feel the trigger by this, but I got a song called Protect Children. Mm. Yes. When we was little, when we were, um, I treat your children like my children, like my birth children. When we was little, they used to say we was the worst children. We all been through things that are our fault. You got to work with them. Protect children. You're not supposed to hurt children. I take my glasses off when I talk about this. Wow. Well, you know, I had an interview when I first time I ever spoke about this, like publicly, was with Mike Tyson. Shout out to Mike Tyson. I it's love him. Boy. Mm -hmm. I love him. And mm -hmm. we talked about what made us so violent. And I said, my violence came from fear. I had a fear of being vulnerable, so I had to, like, get you before you got me. Or I had to go all the way to the max. And I told him about me being sexually victimized when I was a child. I mean, mm -hmm. we all have been sexually victimized. Yeah. But, I mean, some men ain't man enough to speak on that. But that was a moment at time when I was vulnerable. So then I made myself so tough, so strong, all this. And then he said the same thing. And in that moment, I saw myself in him when he said, something happened to me and it just turned me into a monster. And I was like, I love you, brother. I saw myself in him. Oh, wow. And they, people ask me, so how do you combat that? I say, whenever that type of stuff goes on, I say, I still working with myself because I haven't been able to forgive nobody who, who hurt children or women, like sexually victimized children and women. I, that's, that's the most cowardice act you could do. Mm. But the way that we combat that is I created a space for my children. I always feel comfortable communicating with their father about anything. No matter how bad, no matter how good, I don't have the luxury of judging you. I'm just here to help guide you through life. You my teacher and I'm your teacher. Like, so me and my children understand. I learn from y'all and y'all learn from me. But I'm not all the way right in everything I do. And my children love me, but some people had to know me as a monster. And for that, I'm not sorry. I don't ask forgiveness for that mm -hmm. at all. You know, I feel like self-defense, not no crime. I respect the fact you could talk to your kids about anything. I wish, yeah. I regret I not doing that when yeah. I was young. Yeah, I don't touch, don't nobody touch yeah. you there. I don't touch you there. Your mother don't yeah. touch you there. Your nanny, so if you got a nanny, and I, they don't touch you there. None of that. I always have a, I always have a, I create a space where they can always talk to me. Don't lie to me about nothing because I'm going to die for you. Yeah, you I'm going to die for you. You dead, you dead at the stigma of like, you know, you got to wait till your kids to be 18, No, 21, either you learn fast stuff. or you die yeah. young. Yeah. Because if my son yes. don't have a beauty, my son, he a nigga. Hmm. And he got the heart of a tiger. So if I don't have him like under a nice little code of conduct before he go in the streets, the police going to kill him. Wow. They going to punish him. You know, the rules is different. You know what I'm saying? We can say what we want to. and The world is different, exactly, too. But the, the world is crazy. But, you know, the right rules is different for, for you. Hmm. I hate that it's like that, but this is what it is. We know the rules of engagement. Once you know the, the demographic, that's 90% of the battle. So my, my children know what's happening already. I talk to them every day, all day, because either you learn fast or you die young. Yeah, that's what I saw the other day. I saw you in another interview, and I'm like, damn, my son is like 24, 22. I'm like, damn, I wish I spoke to my kids when they were that young. But, but my kids are late. cool. Thank God my kids are cool and good, but some people don't have that. You know, you don't have, fucked they, up they don't. Here. They don't feel like they can communicate. Yeah. If you tell your if you tell your daddy, I'm gonna hurt you. Nah, I ain't got that to worry about. Y'all know y'all daddy. Hey. But but ceremony, how do you especially like producers, like if you call a producer to come to work on your album and they know what kind of person you are, I how do they pick. make beats for that stuff? I just pick. So you just pick I like pick whatever, whatever I pick whatever um, it's your heart. Stuff I pick with whatever the aligns values. with my <laughs> Oh, well, I have gone through that same journey, so I get it. With grief, with all these different things that have kind of paved the way and changed from being not as great of a person I got two to... features on the album. That's Amazing. a big change. I see. That's, that's, a, that's a big change. So you never Opening do that. The doors. <laughs> I got BG on there and Sexy yeah. Red on there. 
Uh, I love that, man. You, do, do you see Sexy Red as the old you? Like, that, like the, her whole energy, like I see how her, she's so real. I, I see her as um, a reflection of what's going on and what's been going on, mm. like in the mm. ghetto, in the slums, in the poverty-stricken situations. And my heart went out to her because I done left my woman out here while I was incarcerated. Mm -hmm. So you see a, a baby, she pregnant, but she got to do the best she she's, can. Yeah, she got to do hard. everything she got to mm -hmm. do just to, in order to make it. And I understand that because I done left my woman out here. So I was like, damn. And my heart went out to her. And that's real. It's a reflection of what's going on in the slums. She's kind of like indirectly, following, not following, but in your, your your blueprint of how you came up. She might be like you. I ain't from, look at it like that, but really? I, I see a lot of myself in her with the uh -huh. authenticity. Not afraid to be yourself. Mm. I liked it. You didn't waste no time with BG coming out of jail. Mm -mm, that's my dude. <laughs> you know, I, I used to do his mixtapes back in the days, and I see you with him. I was like, whoa. That's my dude. <laughs> wow. How that's was that? Me. Like, the whole, like, him coming out? I hadn't seen him in 13 years, but the whole time we was gone, we was, uh, excuse me, the whole time he was gone, mm -hmm. we jost him. If People that don't know what jost means. I mean, we supported him while he was incarcerated. That's what that oh, means wow. in layman's terms. But, yeah, though, we, we jost him the whole time he was gone with pictures. We kept, we flooded him with pictures. And, like, every time, the first time I had went to Germany and all that, we were sending him pictures of us in Germany. You know, Booba and Menace, like, they real, real close with him. And that's how I met him through them. That whole movement back then, they were, they were like, the kings of the fucking Yeah, he's a legend. Then. Yeah, yeah. And bars. You don't sleep on BG with the bars. Yeah, he's a legend. <laughs> I see, that's why legend. he connects with you, man. Yeah, he's a legend. <laughs> Is it different now? Like, you you know, back in the days, you have to be a real Kevin Gates fan. Do you feel that you crossed over? Or you don't really need to be in-depth with Kevin Gates? Expanded, yeah, I think expanded. is the yeah. word. Opened up the the doors to more Because when I go to your concerts, people know word for word. Like, you got acapella a, uh, your whole joint. Like, I'm, a, um, <laughs> I'm a big Kevin Gates fan, so... I'm still watching the evolution and the growth. I love Kevin Gates. He's just not scratching the surface. Mm. What? He's got a long way to go. What? H how, you know how LeBron James will have a good game and he'll say, we did good, but we got a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kevin Gates, he, he's doing good, but he still has a long way to go. I see the the spirit of T. She went crazy with her a little. Yeah, the spirit of T Pain is at that song. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> so I, good. back then That's that so was good. back then How it was you it not? was your shorty. But me being from Louisiana, you know, this is my lady. Yeah, mm. you know, we ain't got no title, but you everything I need you to be in this moment. You my lady. Yeah, and I'm already yeah. Yeah, because yeah is a it's a noun. It describes a person, place, or a thing. Like mm. if I if I hit your phone and tell you, hey, what's happening? You know I'm yeah, huh? What? You know, I'm really, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm really, yeah, I'm describing I'm describing my activity, but then I'm telling you I'm, yeah, I'm describing who I am as a person, that, but this my, you know, Tiffany, this my little, yeah. I just or or then yeah. if you was to be, like, talking to that, hey, excuse me, hey, big brother, what I do, you know that's my little, yeah, huh? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not using that now. Yeah, yeah. Tight, no, that my little, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, yeah, but yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you know, you, but, you know, she's you my know, no. You might, uh, she, me, might, she, <laughs> she might be like, babe, what are she's we? She's my no. Babe, you know you, babe, you know you my little, <laughs> yeah. Babe, you know Wing you woman. my little, yeah. Uh, but yeah. I heard this other dude. I ain't gonna say no names. He had been been around me a little bit, and he was like, get you a yeah, get you a little yeah. You can't get you a little yeah. What? You can't go get you a little yeah. It got the this got the beat. My little yeah, I'm not even saying I can't go find me a little yeah. You wow. can't go find that. That got to be something cultivated. Wow. That got to be something under that administration that you didn't raise, you didn't cultivated into that. She really a reflection of you. Everything you imputed into it, she yeah, my little yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. my little yeah, yeah, boy. You know. Yeah. What's oh my God, no. <laughs> no. See, it doesn't sound as good when I say it. We well, get a lot of nah, annoying. It's really, you know, Look, how, you know. I how, try. He tries nah, to put me on the You know how when a woman get with a man, she start talking like him. Because one time, <laughs> not I, me. I, I had a woman like I if, if like I say somebody that. like undermining me. Uh, playing on my intelligence, yeah. or, or they mm. think I'm stupid, man. You know, dude was in there playing on my he, dude. Try, man, I think dude was playing on my top. You heard me? He playing on my top like he you undermining me. me. He playing on he playing on my intelligence. So one day I had an argument with a little woman, and she professional and shit. You know, and she 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 super professional. It was so cute. She was like, "Yeah, babe, they was trying to play on my top." <laughs> I say, yeah, baby, they was. They what they? I say, she really mad trying to tell me. A, she trying to run me a ep. It when happens. I say run me a ep, 
she was trying to tell me a story. She was running me a little episode. So she like, yeah, babe, they tried to play on my top. I say, what they did, babe, say it again, babe. Kevin, stop. I don't like you, babe. That just is so cute when you be trying to talk like me. Yeah. Fuck all that. I like all that. Straight Beyonce. I'm in with that. It's the energy transfer. Things rub off. Yeah, we beyond now, turn up here, yeah, I'll tell you. It had put yeah. me... I got the reminiscing, and I know it's a lot of viewers that don't know what a lit yeah is. Yeah, I'm glad like, you what explained is he talk- that. Kevin was talking about <laughs> Now everyone's going to use it. That's going to be the next thing yeah, on TikTok I mean, with you all know, your you know where you got songs from, that are all over TikTok. <laughs> hey, just at least at least salute where you got it from. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's yes. all I do. You know, do the I'm, tags, everyone. You think uh, Beyonce heard the freestyle? You, uh, did you get any, like, Yeah, back? fucking right. She heard it. You know she, she be in there getting, you know yeah. getting out here. I did. You know the people be doing out here. You know, all her styling. You know, they be pom, 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 pom. Yeah. Yeah, well, Beyonce is. concert. Yeah, I'm beyond turd. And then, I, then I sent about, <laughs> I sent about ten people to the to the concert. Oh wow! Yeah, oh, cool. I, I had sent all of them, all my nannies and shit that watch the caretakers of my what? children. That's so nice. They fans, you know. So so they was out there wiping their ass, you know. They they love <laughs> they love all that. I, you know what? When we talk about stuff like this, the energy might create like a remix, like Beyonce, Kevin Gates. Ooh, I would love. Yeah, we do manifest a lot on this yeah, show. Everybody that comes through here, it happens. we do manifest a lot on this Everything show, and it happens. comes true. Oh, hey, remember I said I'm this? Just saying, I'm like let's, the golden uh, leg. Do, hey, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> right now, today. What's up? Let's do it. You know, a lot of fans bother me with, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Deluxe shit. Like, is it, is it going to be an extra song that didn't make it? Or you got 17 I got a bonus right? song. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. I got a bonus song. Yo, uh, Crespo. It right? might be on there or it might not be on there. Oh. You just got to get it to find out. But it's a guitar Open beat. Your it's a guitar beat. And then oh. I come on there just singing. I was confused, hard to trust again with all my heart's been through, been misused. If not the one you choose, I fall back from you, been misused. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna leave that low though. <laughs> You're like a god now. You're like a, people look up to you, man. God body covered by the highest. <laughs> they guns hold no power to this holy temple. How you kill a god when a law called them? The only time he goes when a law called them. You know what I'm saying? Oh my. God, man, when people see you now, like, you you said you had to forgive yourself for how you used to look, but you also accepted what you did to get here. Yes, sir. But now you're someone that everybody looks up to, like, you know, how, how, what's the, how In do you see yourself? In a lot of different areas, too. Yeah, like crazy. That journey. Like spiritually. I make it look good. Yeah, you make but it look I'm a, really but I'm good. A, but I'm a lifestyle curator. Because mm. anybody Ooh. in the room with me, eventually they're going to have to get in tune with me. Is that what ceremony is going to give us? Yeah, that's what ceremony going to give you. It's going to give you the reuniting of yourself. That's what it was. It was the journey, the reuniting with myself. And every title on there has a meaning. Like mm, that. You know, I learned to love the stranger that was once myself. Nothing external ever adds value. Okay. Everything that I do, it go with my life. Like I make music now that motivate me when I'm in the gym working out. To help me overcome my adversity because adversity builds character. Like, I can't tell you it was uh, unicorns and rainbows on this journey. This has been mm. the most painful journey ever. Mm. But I'm glad that it happened because adversity is what built character with me. And who who like, taught yeah. you, though? Who taught you? Like, is there somebody that taught you to, like, be more, like, aware of the way you are now? Like, along the Well, journey. I used to do drugs. Oh, wow. And rehab is for quitters. I'm not no quitter. So what I did is I replaced my unhealthy habits with healthy habits and as my progression kept going as i progressed i started just implementing small changes and small changes just tweaks you know i'm just not scratching the surface with it you know i ain't no guru but i know a little bit you're the first person i ever met that life kind of like upgraded you it's not like i used to listen to tupac i became this person i used to listen to that like seem like are... seem like i'm one of the only people out here really living life for real mm. Because you know, I can wow. remember in 2021, you know, I was going through depression because I was so enveloped in social media. And that, that causes, oh. like, comparison is the killer of all joy. You comparing your real life to other people's highlight real. And comparison, that, it just kill your joy. But when you're grateful and you love what you have, you have all that you need. And the way I did that was I got off the internet for like a year and a half. And then I got just back to the basics, to the black top. And people love me for real. Like, when I walk the streets, people love me for real. Mm. People walk up to me and shake my hand and tell me, thank you. Thank you for your transparency. You changed my life. Wow. And they see you physically doing it, which yeah. a lot of us ain't doing it at all. Like, with, right. all due, with all due disrespect, 
I can't listen to no fat motivational speaker because mm. I used to be fat. You can't empower me if you're not empowering yourself. You just talk good as a bitch. Mm. I'm empowering myself. I am the message that I bring. I'm ready to take it. I'm ready to take my shirt off right now. I'm always ready to peel. Because how you do anything is how you do everything. I can't demand anything of my team and my soldiers that I don't demand of myself. And people ask me, why are you so hard on yourself? I beat myself up so the world won't beat me up. Mm. Because wow. the world could be a cruel place, but it could also be a beautiful place if you allow it to be. Because once your perspective changes, that's when miracles happen. And now I look at it like this. You, you know, what else? Come on, let's do it. What else I got to conquer so I can get to the next level? What else? There's always going to be giants at the gate. If it ain't rough, it ain't us. Let's go. Wow. So I it ain't like, why me? It's like, why not me? Let's do it. Hmm. This shit ain't going to do nothing but make me stronger. Come on. Has there been one moment in particular that really was pivotal for you? Like something that really stands out? Or is it just all those little pieces of the puzzle you've been together? My whole life been pivotal, to be to be completely honest with you. My whole life been pivotal. Everything. I the, think that's why athletes the best, also The really best thing that ever happened to me, I, I could say, one of the best things that ever happened to me was a uh, heartbreak. Oh, okay. Yeah, heartbreak was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Your heart got to break so you, it could fill up with love. Some people never get to pour back into themselves. You ever had a mm. conversation with somebody and you felt drained afterwards? Mm. All the time. You ever had a conversation with somebody and it was like, this is refreshing talking to you, Kevin. I love you. Mm. I'm not just saying. Like, <laughs> I feel like that when I talk to Kevin Gates because I talk to myself yeah. a lot. But a lot of time we pour into others and we never pour back in ourselves to the point that we feel guilty pouring back in ourselves. I can relate, yeah. But I had to start setting boundaries, like energetically, like without giving anybody any excuses, like, uh, I'm going to call you back after I do this. No. Hey, look, I'm, I'm about to get off this phone. I'm going to talk to you later. That's it. That's how I don't owe you any more explanations. But a lot of time we overexert energy into things that don't even matter. Did you get that from when you went to your trip overseas? Like you went to you visit Mecca and then you told me you cried. And you know, I always cry. I cry yeah. um, three, four times a day sometimes. I'd be jogging on the treadmill and just be grateful. Like, man, look where I'm at right now. And just I start crying. Because I'm really operating out of the heart chakra now. See, it take more courage to show vulnerability than it, than it do to be a tough guy. Mm. We done did the, the gangster thing already. I'm, I'm cool. That's cool. But where your heart chakra at? What's the intentions of your heart? How your children respond to you? You know what I'm saying? The people that really matter. So I started my healing journey to be a better service to my children and serve humanity better. Because when I'm helping others heal, I'm in turn helping myself heal. That's my mission, Such like combating suicide of thinking, combating suicide attempts, mm. combating oh. depression, combating bullying. These are places that I've been. These are things that I've conquered, and I'm showing people how to conquer those things. And there is tears of joy. I mean, all the time. Yeah. What do you think the next? Do you have an idea of what's next on this journey? Is there I'm something big? I'm just scratching big? the surface. All right. You just gotta stay tuned. I got big and small screen coming. Amazing. Yeah, you're going to be seeing, you're going to be at the house like, I just interviewed him. Now he's on. Well, I was going to tell <laughs> he's you. He's a fucking star. Like. I was going to tell you that the last time <laughs> I, I couldn't help but to be happy, not just because of the energy, but when I saw you do Sunday conversation, I laughed for just hours. I watched that so much. I know they're ridiculous, but. It was beautiful it was because beautiful. I got outside of my, I got outside of my comfort zone. Right. And, and, they, with and my team tricked me. They said, it's very serious. You got to be super serious. <laughs> that, that. And then I couldn't. I laughed, and it felt so good to just laugh. Yeah. Like, uncontrollably just laugh. It was like, I didn't, I, like, I peeled back layers. That was a healing moment for me. So the world got to watch that. It was, so it was amazing. Beautiful. It, it was just, so good. It just feels good to have, like, I mean, I'm like a diss all the artists that come through here because I want to fuck up their mojo. But, you know, artists do come here with, a, it's like they're, Academy Award winning, like they got to fit. They got to fit the look, fit the vibe of you coming here as you, like. Well, today I'm I'm gonna be honest. Earlier, the two other interviews I did earlier, I had on a bow tie with a suit. Mm. But today I said, you know what? <laughs> you coming? You coming to hook? <laughs> you know, I got a brother. I got a brother named Mizzy. Oh, and yeah. he loved diamonds. He, like he, mm. he's no longer with us. You know. Oh wow. God okay. bless his soul. He's no longer with us mm. no more. But he used to love to wear jewelry. So I do this in a way to be close to him. Mm -hmm. But I would throw all of this stuff away right now. Because you can cover all your scars up with diamonds, but it's still going to hurt. You say mm -hmm. you love me, but show me that shit for real. Can't play with love because that type of shit gets you killed. Beefing with my chick while I'm in jail. 
Try not to click off bomb restriction. Can't make bail. Might as it gone, but all is well. I ain't called in a minute. Ain't bald in a minute. Wow. Can't wait to see them stars in the ceiling free all of my hitters. You can cover all your scars up in diamonds, but it still gonna hurt. You say you love me, but show me that shit for real. Can't play with love, cause that type of shit get you killed. And it's just, that's just where I'm at with it right now. I just wow, feel like man. being close to him. Right up, I feel like he with I me. <laughs> and I love that you live it. You really don't just come in here and say it. You live For it. For one moment with my brother again, I throw all this shit away. It means nothing to me. Mm. I like fishing and hunting. I'm a country boy. I drive a pickup Nature. truck. I love that. I love that, yeah. though. Well, you Nature. Eminem, you're like the black Eminem, man. Eminem Ooh. don't care about Ferraris, Lambos, and stuff like that. Like, no. Just what's important. External, yeah. uh, nothing external adds value. Mm. I'm something serious in real life, like uh, authentically me. Mm. I know that I'm free. See, here with a tree, I pull over and hiked it. Free everybody who thugging and rikles. There's so many bars in you this You need to take shit. a couple notes here. I know that I'm free. I'm authentically me. See, a here with a tree, I pull over and hiked it. Free everybody who thugging and rikles. Gallery Vancouver welcomes you to your new euphoria. Redefining your nightlife experience with the city's hottest live performances and entertainment. Gallery is Vancouver's first and only hybrid nightclub destination. A fusion of live performance entertainment and nightlife excitement. Designed with the vision of creating your most unforgettable nights, Gallery is a visual and sensory masterpiece. Make your night unforgettable with Gallery Vancouver. Anybody out there you fuck it. with Kevin Gates before you got these Drake and all these guys? You don't fuck with I these guys? I just went to the um to a Drake concert. I went to two what? nights in a row, yeah. I, I just like, I wanted to go study all the greats and just watch them. Wow. And then I went to an Usher concert. How was that? How good is <laughs> Usher is an amazing He's performer. He's so good. He's doing Super Bowl this year. You should hit him up. Come out. Man, he, hey, he shouted me out when I was there. He was like, shout out to Kevin Gates. I was like, damn, I didn't know you knew him. <laughs> <laughs> I, was in the, I, was, I was right there just yeah. watching because I was watching the performance. I'm like, this is cool. The one in Vegas, right? That shit is yeah. amazing. It is like, so good. It was cool. That's just like a. I'm like, man, this <laughs> this a a condo, a house, a little baby <laughs> club, a hookah. Club. I'm like, man, he put all this roller in skates. One. He, got he everything. coming down the stage. I say, man, that nigga, he all this, man. <laughs> but it was beautiful because it was a learning experience. Like I just said, you know what? I'm about to just start going to concerts, and that's mm. what I've been doing. I've been allowing myself to be a fan. Ain't nothing wrong with absorbing a little bit. See what's up. It might switch you up, you know? But you could. It good. has. You're, you're, you're Kevin Gates, it man. Al- it already it. has. It's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> you know, there's a Snoop Dogg and there's a Kevin Gates, man. That's all I got to say. shout out to Snoop. That's all I got to <laughs> say. Um, the end is interview, Him man. and Wiz Khalifa, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, oh. they took me on their tour. Oh, yeah. The first major tour I went on was with Wiz Khalifa and Snoop, man. Shout out to them. I see you doing wrestling and shit. I saw you punch a nigga out the other day. Yeah. I was like, sure. Hey, put your the hell? Kevin Gates just delivered a right hand to the jaw of Tony Nese. What is going on? <laughs> Kevin Gates yeah, is an AEW. I'm over should, here. Yeah, like... He shouldn't have gotten my business. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you had to go for the chain, though. You went for the chain, yo. Like, first, you like, He Ugh. shouldn't have gotten my business. Man. <laughs> <laughs> getting in my business. I got to do, do a, a verse now. Like, I hit somebody recently with a laptop the other day. day on TNA. So now I saw you, so maybe I should put, like, like, yo, which one of y'all y'all voting for? Kevin Gates knocking a nigga out or my fucking laptop? You know, the Serato <laughs> slash you Yes, know? Lord. Like, I love you, Kevin, man. It's always a fucking, more. it's always a pleasure to have you up here, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Very refreshing. Keep, keep the energy out there. We need that. This world Very up. refreshing. Thank you so much. Because you, you can tell when too. someone, yeah, you could tell At when least someone, someone comes in here. At least someone thinks I'm just... refreshing. <laughs> you want to get some, yeah? Hey, I ran a mile before I uh came here. That's, really? See, that's a six minute mile. But see, that's why we we know sons of athletes who listen to your music when they're training, and it's like so inspiring. Hey, shout out to so, all the athletes yeah. that are listening to Kevin Gates, you know, because guess sense. what? I love what y'all do because I aspire. I'm doing it. I'm always learning something new. We need your music in like a Nike commercial or something. Man, we need my music everywhere. Everywhere, but also you know. And all the fitness centers when you walk in there, man. That's why people ain't brain. coming in here because y'all playing this whole bullshit ass music. Y'all get to playing that bam 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 ba da da da. Man, you gonna it gonna make you do that extra play that little yeah. You know what I'm saying? My little yeah, yeah hard. My little yeah. That my little yeah. Shout out to Mike Tyson tuned in. Uh, his birthday, his son's birthday is today, Morocco, and you know he loves you so. Uh, I, thought I I'd love him. Yeah, yeah. I thought I I'd bring it up. Pete. You know, happy birthday, Morocco. I just had an espresso and it's fucking my stomach up. 
<laughs> Did you eat like- food? I ain't eat yet. Because yeah, you know I, where I got that from, I right? only eat once a day. See? Because oh. if I eat, I'm going to feel sluggish. Mm. You ever ate something and then you, oh, I, got, I need to go take a nap. Yeah, but me. when I don't eat, I'm just ready to go. But if it did mess your stomach up, it really didn't mess your stomach up. It's cleansing. You purging. You That's go, what's going on. Yeah, you go get rid of that. So if you hear my stomach go, <laughs> like while I'm asking a serious question. That's the question, cleansing phase. Like your, 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 like your body go through three phases. It go through ingestion. It go through digestion. Then it go through cleansing. So when I'm shitting everything out of my body, I'm mm. cleansing my intestinal tract. Is it funny that the older you get, how shit feels so good? Like you releasing all that yeah, dense energy. It feels so good now. Yeah, get know. rid of that shit. Mm-hmm.